Yo guys, what is up? Kevin here with a freestyle vlog about review copies. Yeah. So, yeah, this is a series where I might like ramble on about a topic till it's um, covered enough and then post the as is. I know it is. In the background, I actually have some Overwatch footage going. You know, it's not the best gameplay. It's pretty much what I call um, casual ranked gameplay. That's like a phrase. But yeah, I have fun at the game and I don't know. I was actually doing a character switch right there. But yeah, I have fun at the game and um, I don't know. That's why I've been doing some Overwatch content. It's a fun game. So anyways, you know, having a YouTube channel can be a little pricey. Um, the There's like all kinds of expenses. There's equipment expenses. There's time commitment. There, There's like software expenses like rent. Editing software like Photoshop, Adobe Pro, shit like that. And um, there's also like game expenses. A lot of these games cost actually like $60. Some of them are less than that if you, depending on how, how late to get them or stuff like that. So, you know, being a YouTuber and buying every $60 game out there on release. I don't, I don't think it's really feasible and it's not really a smart move to actually you know just keep your channel affordable especially when you're like in the growing stages of things so a big uh, I guess way around that is I guess acquiring and review copies and that's how I require, acquire a lot of my games but um, some people they actually don't even go that route they go like the route of piracy um, I can tell because like I, I see some like three or 4k sub channels which I think they use sub for sub for and grow their channel that way and they have like every single freaking game under the sun including indie ones and post like one quick uh, clip on their video and you tell they're just out there f fishing for views and shit like that fishing for somebody to you know, donate money to them so yeah I think they pirate those games and um, post them like this but I don't know I've been getting out of the you know whole piracy deal so I'm sort of against that and I'm more for like just you know simply asking the developer hey you can't play your game I have like a small ass uh, YouTube channel but if you let me play your game I love it yeah. so that's the mentality I take when you know asking for review copies from a lot of these um, developers and that's how like I'm able to guess acquire content from a channel past like playing one or two games every six months <laughs> Um, unfortunately, I never got a review copy for Overwatch, but there's certain games, of course, that, you know, you realize it's good enough where you might be able to go in, all in it, and just enjoy the game for what it is, even when you're not recording or streaming, so I think, um, that's the type of, I guess, mentality you have to take when spending money on a video game, at least as a YouTuber. You can't like expect everything to be handed to you for free, of course, too. So, um, yeah, acquiring review copies is really, I think, a responsible way to get video games. And there's also like, I guess, protection too, because if they give you a review copy, you know, there's um, there could be like some, I guess, bias where you know they're giving you, you something for free, so they expect, I guess, some return, but. That's why you always like put a disclaimer in the videos you make that this is a review copy and you're just having fun with the game and taking the game as it, as it is. Uh, that's um, one way to look at it. But the other side of it is there's copyright issues too. Um, like these channels that are pirating all these games, put them on their channel, like the 3K subs one I was talking about. The um, developers might not like the game, especially since they're not not really adding too much to the video they're just posting it as is they could be like a sucker too just buying all the games but I, I highly doubt that so um yeah there is copyright issues and if you get a review copy you do sort of protect yourself from issues like that so overall um if you're thinking about getting youtube um look into review copies acquiring some of your games to be honest like for me um you're mostly going to end up getting indie titles and um, 
I surprisingly end up liking a lot of these indie tiles I've been getting, so I don't mind that, but um, don't expect like any like super grade 8, triple A grade 8 uh, titles off the bat. It's not going to happen, to be honest, but I have gotten like some like really good games through this, too. Um, recently, in fact, I got a um, like a $30 game, and set the, it's like a harem game about anime and shit like that. Actually, Posted two episodes of it recently. Yeah, said that right. But yeah, um, I have acquired some really good games through it. Um, I have like three other games too that are like past the ten dollar mark. There's another recent one about like deep sea dive. I'm gonna do some videos on that pretty soon. And um, anything else besides? That? I can't think of the other one, but yeah, I've been getting some you know good uh, I guess hits with it. So. It does take time, but you can get some good returns on it, but you got to, like, stay, um, I guess, consistent with it. Always continually asking developers for keys and stuff. It's sort of like actually acquiring a job, I found. Um, you know, you got to constantly put your application in to different places, like, two or three times a week, and then eventually you might get a job that takes you, right? And that's how I got out of my shitty job, actually, recently. So, um... Yeah, you just gotta keep uh, yeah, putting time in to get just get the free games and of course make the videos and shit like that. So. Always uh, I guess fulfill the I guess deal too. So. Um, anything else? Uh, yeah, so pretty much you know making a YouTube channel, looking at this uh, review copy shit. Um, and even if you don't have a YouTube channel, if you're like maybe making blogs or something, you still have like a chance to get review copies. Um, there's also like a site I use. There's other things you can do besides like contacting the publishers or developers. I use a site and say, um, just like click a lot of games and here and there might get a hit on it. So there's all kinds of ways to get free games. Right? And it's just helpful for making content. It's helped me out too a lot. Coming back to YouTube and giving me that content to actually put up there. See, I've been rambling on in seven minutes. I think I covered this topic as well as I'm going to cover it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. That's my, I guess, quick take on how to do review copies and shit like that. We're just getting the information out there, right? So, peace out. Yeah.